how to run a marketing agency effortlessly with the systems and the softwares. Day four, welcome in Kingdom Builders. If this is your first time seeing this video, go to day one. I promise it will make a lot of sense. We are making sure that we just focus on what really matters when starting an online service-based business. And I really gave an offer for marketing agency. Y'all are almost there, almost to the end. Day five, we're gonna go into case studies. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm actually implementing and putting everything that I'm teaching into action. Today is about the systems and the software to be able to use this and launch your online biz. So let's get into it. We're also gonna be talking in this system mainly about the client getting workflow. Like what does it actually take to get clients? What are the KPIs? What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? What does the overall view look like when it comes to lead generation and conversions, making sales, getting clients? So this is the full client getting workflow and this is what we're talking about in day four. So dear Kingdom Builder, the right, the right client getting strategy plus systems plus software equals getting paid daily, okay? You guys can master this, you'll be able to get paid daily. We got reoccurring memberships where people are leveraging tools, software, systems, client paying us uh, month to month. So the right client getting strategy plus the systems plus software is equals getting paid daily. So here's a system. It is pretty much, I already shared this in the day prior about going into different groups, maybe Facebook groups, Instagram, LinkedIn. So it's picking your platform like I recommended, uh, going to the friend request follow, getting into the DMs, and then we're getting into a discovery call, which most of us, if we're just getting started, I'd recommend the calls to eventually going through the conversion system, which is the close, okay? So again, this is the big picture overview of what we're gonna be talking about. And I want us to really see this so that we have a visual of what it looks like to actually get a client from, I don't know about you, to finally saying, I'm interested, let's work together. So before starting, we gotta make sure a few things before we get started. And this was homework in the call to action in the previous days. So I wanna make sure that the foundations are built. Mindset, the frameworks behind it, and really a lot of what's hindering us from really having success or any level of success is the mindset behind taking action and then the frameworks on how I see certain things, whether it's I see myself, the environment around me, how others see me, and also how I believe God sees me, right? These are all spiritually, mentally, physically, relationally, financially. A lot of these things are based on a good foundation. So these are things that we have to audit. Why am I not taking action? Why am I scared to maybe send a message out? So it's a lot of these things that come uh, in our personal life that manifest and it becomes personal problems that manifest and become the business problems. Every uh, time I, I talk to people, most of the business problems are a personal problem that manifested in the business. Okay, so I gotta make sure I have the right mindset as I'm getting into this. Number two is having an offer. That's why we went through a whole day of having an offer. Again, I shared with y'all an offer that I'm gonna be sharing with everybody here by the end of day five. If you don't have an offer or you're like, yeah, I have a couple ideas, but maybe we can collaborate on how my offer would be able to help you guys how I offer to clients, you guys can take that exact strategy and that offer and run it with your clients in your industry. So we gotta have an offer. We have to make sure we optimize all social media platforms. Again, I'll be sharing towards that in the call to action in uh, the end of this as well. So I have to have all my, op uh, my social media platforms optimized. Same nice profile pic, what do I do? Just something neat so that when people look at it, it's professional and people obviously say, okay, this person takes their life seriously. And then we have to actually start practicing your actual service daily. Whatever it is you're gonna be selling, servicing, fulfillment, helping clients with, it's sharpening that ax and getting better at it every single day. So here is the client getting workflow. And I've really simplified it, okay? Client, uh, getting clients comes down to three main activities. Getting clients comes down to, to these three. One is sharpening your sword. Two is booking appointments. Three is taking appointments. That's it getting into conversations that book an appointment and then actually being in appointments. Sharpening your sword is sharpening your ax, your skill set, the ability to deliver your fulfillment and your service at a higher level so you can get results for your clients. So these are the three main activities to getting your business up and running and just growing it, okay? So these are the three main activities. So focus on the following three activities and you will get clients, again, sharpening your sword, getting better at your service, booking appointments, that's, uh, again, creating content, 
being able to tee up people that are interested in your service, doing outreach, talking to uh, specific people that are interested in your service or might uh, have a problem that you can solve, and then actually talking to those people. That's it, three main activities, okay? So real quick on outbound prospecting, what does this look like? Outbound prospecting is using cold email, social media, and possibly freelance sites to book appointments. All it is is figuring out how can I get on the internet to get people on a phone call, a Zoom call. This is outbound, this is outreach. Outbound prospecting is what we call it. Inbound lead generation, this is where you eventually start posting content on your social profiles to get leads to come to you. And I see this all the time depending on the offer and what we do. Inbound lead generation, outbound prospecting, we wanna be able to do both and figure out systems that we can implement in our business to allow this, um, we call it a flywheel effect to take place. So uh, another thing that we need to understand is how to close, okay? Qualifying leads and inviting the right fits to work with you. And being able to share, when I think about selling, I think about it as sharing, just sharing an opportunity that I have, being real with the, uh, the ideal type of client or your uh, prospect and saying, hey, this is what I have, I'd love to help you, let's see if we can get your results. It just, it's so simple, okay? It gets better, there's a skill set when it comes to sales and sharing your opportunity, but just the foundation of being able to close. So, some benchmark uh, activities. This is kind of like what we're looking for as we're going out there and we're really trying to get results, okay? If you guys can get any sort of these benchmark activities, these we call them KPIs, key performance indicators, then you will eventually get to a place where something has to move. <laughs> Enough input allows the output. Enough input of activity. So the first one is 10 to 50 outbound prospecting messages per day. This is us talking to people that might be our potential clients daily. And it's so simple to talk to people. How, they, how are you? What are you, what are you up to, right? Just talking to people, starting conversations, an average of 10 to 50, even if it's uh, five to 10 a day. But this is where we wanna get to, okay? Five to 10 jobs applied to per day freelance site. So if you have an outbound uh, process where you're going on to like Fiverr or Upwork and you're looking to get into deals, then applying to jobs daily is another great way to eventually get people to say, hey, I'm interested to see what you have, let's hop on a call. 10 to 15 minutes per day engaging and commenting value in groups. So remember when I told you how to find five to 10 different groups to be able to talk to your ideal clients in? Here it is. 10 to 15 minutes per day engaging, commenting value in specific groups with your ideal type of client. And then 30 to 60 minutes per day sharpening your sword. Sharpening your sword is meaning getting better at your skill that you're trying to get better at, okay? Whatever that is. And YouTube has so much great stuff on like how to's beginning and end. And you usually wanna do this towards the later part of the night where you can't be talking to people. 30, 60 minutes per day sharpening your sword. Last thing, after clients. So after you help your clients and do all the work and you're, do, you're done with your posting and engaging, uh, get into creating content. I recommend five times per week. This is Monday through Friday daily into figuring out what kind of content you wanna create. If we're cho choosing Facebook, like I'd recommend everybody, it's as simple as doing your five days of figuring out what type of content you wanna create per day to just be relevant as you guys are doing outreach. People like that. People love reading and engaging and going based off values, okay? So these are your benchmark activities that we're looking to do every single uh, day. Save these, okay? Save all these. Now, outbound prospecting, I'm calling this hunting. So this is mainly what it, it talks about where we're hunting for clients, hunting for prospects. And we're out there just intentionally looking for people. So we call it virtual door knocking. You are crafting a semi-personal message to convert a cold prospect into an interested lead. This is what it is. And again, I gave you guys just a simple uh, outreach method in the last uh, day where I talked about it's you just reaching out and saying, hey, I started a software company. Again, depending on what your offer is, I'm giving the offer of like a software offer. I wanna be able to see and practice if I can uh, walk people through this. Do you have like 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes to just check it out, see what I got going and just give me feedback at the end. Very simple, okay? Very, very simple. So this is your uh, modern day virtual door knocking. And what I like about Outbound is it's it, you get to twist, quick, test quickly and free. So you'll be able to test your message against your niche quickly and cheaply. The only cost is a bit of your time and any automation tools you use. I love this, y'all. 
this is just the, the simplicity of building this habit of outbound and outreach. It's a super high ROI, a return on investment, right? It's organic, so not a dollar spent on ads. When you convert a lead into a client using outbound prospecting, it's almost 100% profit, which is great. Again, it's a bit of your time, but it's worth it because it's gonna be a majority of a uh, profit, which is so great. This is the, the upsides to outbound prospecting and hunting. And every level, no matter what business people are in and what whatever level, most of the time, they're still doing some sort of outreach and organic. I like it because it's scalable because you can use software automation and hire contractors to run this for you once you have it dialed in. Okay, so it is scalable to a T. And again, just outbound, such a great thing that every business needs. Inbound lead ge generation, this is you fishing, throwing out bait. So this is to get clients coming to you. Content on client results, behind the scenes, stories, tips, tricks, insights that are relevant to your niche. These are the type of content that you guys can be posting when it comes to getting people to be interested in what you have to offer. There's a bait out there in the marketplace. It's, it's a compounding effect. Content compounds, okay? I have a whole nother teaching on this, but content compounds. Content is what gives us leverage. Results from this don't happen right away, but once it gets going, it's a snowball effect. Now, I do zero outbound prospecting because clients come to me. There is a moment in seasons where I don't have to do prospecting because a lot of clients, there are seasons where clients have just continued to come. So again, this is like the compound effect of being able to continue to pour out and allow your content to compound and, and leads are coming in, they're coming through your emails, they're following you on different socials. And there were seasons where I didn't have to do any of that and it was great because I got to work on operations and systems and uh, creating new types of businesses and investing into other things. It's a compound effect. Now I continue to do this because I wanna grow at a, at a certain level, different industry or in different industries and different offers that I have. So we're always doing this based on the business, but there's certain businesses like the personal brand where I don't have to, which is so great. Top of the mind awareness is another thing. Most prospects are not ready to buy on the spot, which is true. If you are consistent with content, you'll be able to be the top of the mind when, when they're ready to buy. This is so true, I just had somebody we got on a call with and they were like, hey, I saw your content. I've been following you for two years. I'm finally ready to get started. I know you do this or that or that. I've seen you over the years. Bam, we got on a call and now we're doing a consulting deal, which is so amazing what this can do, okay? Just the power of fishing and throwing bait out there every single day. Something that I like is personal DMs is greater than post outreach. What is a post outreach? It is you throwing down a post and you're doing a call to action versus sending people out for the DMs and just saying, hey, having conversation. I would have never converted half the people if I didn't reach out to them. It's just how it is, okay? I still do a lot of personal outreach, again, based on the offer, but, but personal DMs is better than just throwing out a post and throwing out bait. Something powerful about that that just allows people to convert because of the one-on-one -on -one, uh, touch. Cool. The right client getting strategy plus systems plus softwares equals getting paid daily. So I, I'm sharing the right client getting strategy I'm sure that was a lot to soak into. You guys have access to the page to that. that if you guys are getting the emails, you can save all that, marinate on it, take notes, implement it. That, that is a system. Now the systems are also with the software. Every agency, I would highly recommend software because as an agency, you're gonna be helping other people with their software stack and figuring out what their processes are like. And this is how we're gonna get, be able to get paid daily. So check out how I'm offering it and how I position myself to offer it to other people and even for y'all. So what are some agency tools we need, okay? These are a few of the agency tools we need, domains, email biz, website, funnels, landing pages, course, email CRM, content scheduling, design. Now these are just the foundation. There's so much more, okay, to this, but this is like the simple stack just to get us going. Now there's people, and I've said this, where you don't need the, the fancy website, you don't need all that, but eventually you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna get to uh, prospects that are saying, hey, can I see a landing page, a website of things you offer. I genuinely just wanna see. And a lot of times people just wanna see if you have testimonies or if they wanna see what if you're gonna be offering website building or, what, or landing pages or funnels, let me see yours. Okay, so it's good to have just something simple. I'm not talking about perfect, I'm talking about looking professional. It's not perfection, it's professionalism, okay? So this was my stack when I started my agency back in 2018, all the way up to 2022. I had my domains was GoDaddy, my email biz is Google. My website is on Hostinger. My funnels and landing page, ClickFunnels. Course was Kajabi. Emails and CRM is ActiveCampaign. 
content scheduling later and metrical, and then my design, which is Canva. So this is my agency tools tech stack from 2018 all the way up to 2022. Now, this is what I was spending $1,000 plus a month, okay? And I still do till to this day because a lot of these assets are in so many different places. So we've been scaling down over the years, uh, but I'm still spending about $1,000 per month. And because I'm testing a lot of different softwares, but I wanna go lean and that was my whole point. So I was spending 300 bucks a month on ClickFunnels, uh, $199 for Kajabi, I'm doing about $100 a month for active campaigns. So just for this tech stack is about 600, six, almost 700, okay? And again, this is going with just this simple tech stack just starting off. I have a lot of other things that I'm, I'm testing, other schedulers, other AI tools, so many other things that still allow it to be over $1,000. So this is my tech stack that I've been doing for years to run an agency, which if you're making five figures profit a month is nothing. It's like less than a 10th of your monthly monthly profit as far as expenses to run it. But for anyone starting out, this is a lot. So this is where I redesigned it to allow people to get a leaner type of tech stack. So I have this, it's, it's my white label of GHL. So my website, you could go on redevelop.io. We have that, that's our software. Landing pages are on it. Course, we can host on it. Emails and CRM, we can host on it. And then everything else, we're still kind of configuring. You can also do content scheduling on it, which we're still developing, which is so good. And what is this, what is redeveloped.io? And how does this even fit? And why do I recommend this as a tech stack? Okay, I think about this, long-term thinking, long-term saving, and long-term investing. So that's why I did it because when I'm helping other agencies and other people in the service-based space and also other people that are building their own online portfolios, this is the exact software that I use for every other business. This is gonna be the case study that I'm gonna show you guys in, in day five, why a lot of these businesses in the cleaning space and a lot of these other businesses are coming back to this software because they're saving hundreds of dollars per month, which is thousands per year. Okay, so this is how I think about it. I think about long-term thinking. Now there's a lot of other softwares we can use that are free. But eventually those systems start to break and then you're gonna have to spend stuff as you guys upgrade. I've thought about this and I've been doing this since 2018 with Software Stack. So what is redevelop.io? It's our GHL white label and done for you software service. So it's just a white label of go high level that me and my team have built off of and is a software, but we also have a service for y'all. So instead of having to figure out complicated tech and software, this is my offer to people. We plug in our exact processes, templates, and we integrate everything for you. And you get monthly support directly with our team. There's no service fee or cost as I'm sharing this, as I'm sharing this, all you gotta do is just pay the monthly fee and you get all our, our, our templates, our processes all plugged in one. Plus you get access to my team to help you answer any questions. So you as an agency, as an online service-based business can just get launched on day one, okay? We get access to all, or you get access to all our new assets and systems every single month. So we don't just get what we have today. You get all the updates of us growing. And me, I'm always trying to adapt. We're building software outside of this. So I'm always looking for uh, solutions and I'm always bringing that and you get the instant plug and play. That's what makes us different from every other white label out there. And also you get all the systems, the strategy, the community, the trainings, the teachings, there's a lot. So you get access to everything that we launch every single month, okay? now. How to get started. Just pay the software fee and get access. Just pay software fee, get access. If you guys are on the landing page of it or you guys get the emails or the, you guys have the newsletter of this, I'll make sure I, I include the link so you guys can check that out. Ask any questions you guys have and you get access to all that so you guys can actually use what I'm using so you can go out there and get clients with this software, okay? So there's tons of software out there and you could build whatever you want. You could use system.io, it's free. You can use card, it's free. CC, C card, okay, it's what they call it. It's free. You could use Substack for your like newsletter and sending out emails. There's a lot of free tools out there. But at the cost of not being branded, because a lot of these things like system.io, you're gonna have to pay for the branding eventually. So you're gonna have to pay eventually. So instead of paying for all these softwares, I have this. But what I'm saying is I'm not, I'm not married to this software. I'm. I'm really all about being effective and efficient. If there's something greater out there that's better, I'm gonna recommend it. Why? I'm an advocate of using things and recommending the things that I use for my business. 
So there's so many other stuff out there. There's a lot of recommendations, whatever you want, build it how you want. There's so much resources out there, okay? I just have to make that clear because so many people are always asking about it. Now, we are only giving you a simple option to get going so you can plug our system and start doing outreach. That's really it, okay? You wanna go build, learn the different tech. If you heard about other tech stacks, use those softwares and use that tech stack. All I'm telling y'all is you're gonna have to eventually use it when it comes to emails, CRM, so many other ways out there, okay? So what is redeveloped IO? Here's how simple it is. You'll see all the CRMs, the, the unlimited funnels, the builders, the forms, the email marketing, the SMS, the appointments, workflow automations, courses, communities, documents. So there's a lot of this, which you're gonna see at the very bottom. If you were to take all that with those softwares, it's about almost $8,000, 7,900 per month. If you signed up with redevelop.io, the white label that we, we have with everything, the community and all that, it's 99 a month just to get going, just to launch the agency and get going and get started. That is the difference. It is a tool that's gonna help you also land other clients and leverage this tool to help them grow. It's a super lean system and this is why I'd recommend it. So why get software? So people can take your business seriously. That's really it. It's to look professional, it's not for perfection. When people are looking you up, asking you how you're gonna be able to deliver and do this, you show and tell. I don't say this is what I'm gonna do, this is what I did, here's what we're gonna do for you because of what I did. Best way to be able to share and sell services for any client, it always works and people believe it. And they love it because we did it, okay? You're a show and tell. This is what I did, this is how I'm gonna do it. This is what I did, let me teach you how to do it. Let me share with you how we're gonna do it for you. Instead of saying, let me, let me do it for you, let me show and tell, okay? That's why you get software. And it's gonna make your life so simple. So I've helped a lot of clients do it. A lot of these clients that have gotten the software, we've helped with the coaching and the teaching and the agency stuff, all different industries, um, influencers, women identity coach, Christian relationship coach, another relationship coach, just people in the space. We have uh, Janet, okay, using software, again, systems, the mindset, so much. I'm, I'm just gonna kind of breeze through these because this works, y'all. This works. People I've helped over the years, it's Zelle, 35K in 45 days, leveraging the systems, the software. She also uses GHL to be able to uh, run this. This is one of my clients. His name's Jerome. We helped him back in the day and I handed it off to another agency and he's doing amazing. He's scaled. Um, his, his, his companies uh, created, this is uh, uh, Jessen. I almost forgot his name, Jessen. You, he used the exact profile strategies, the organic. And again, just helping and building and leveraging what he's been able to do in his space with Amazon. Um, this is Maravon, you, leveraging YouTube, marketing agency owner, a lot of great things to say about us. Again, this stuff works. A lot of these people use software, have these systems, and they're able to keep something going that is consistent in their brand and in their business. Cool. The right client getting strategy plus systems plus software equals getting paid daily. This is all we got to know. Welcome to day four and making it effortlessly to being able to grow and scale your online service base biz. And most of us are probably gonna go into the marketing agency offer because it's the simplest one to do. And I'm gonna show you guys a full on case study on how to do this and build it up. So quick call to action as we get going, okay? Plug in the client getting workflow. I just showed y'all the client getting workflow. Go back, meditate on these and plug that into your business. Brainstorm on your tech stack and software. If you guys have questions about redevelop.io, you can message us, email us, reach out to me. I'm gonna make sure we have links there so you guys can get access and figure that out for yourself and see if it's a tech stack for you. But there's so many other ones out there as well. And then make sure you optimize your systems. Figure out what your systems are gonna look like, how you're gonna be able to operate in your day-to-day, -day, doing outreach, how much time you're gonna be able to allocate. And y'all, we're gonna get going. Congrats. You made it till the end. We're more than halfway through. We got one more full day. If you guys need to go back to any of those other ones to get brushed up on the strategies, I'd highly recommend that. But this is what we're going to be able to really succeed in just by actually doing those three main activities that I just taught today, every single day. And what does that look like for you? Okay, questions. Feel free, if you guys do get our, get our software, you get access to a community and everything as well, where I'm able to help you guys on a week-to-week -week basis. There's so much training based on your business to help you do that. But again, y'all gotta take action. <laughs> you guys gotta really lay down the foundation, say, RC, I'm ready to commit. 
and I'm ready. All this stuff has really given me a different perspective and renewed my mind on it. So today we talked about systems and dailies. Tomorrow we're gonna go through this live study walkthrough for the next module and then next steps and hopefully we can get to that place where you don't just build a successful business but a sustainable business. I appreciate y'all. See you in the next video, the last day. Take care, God bless you. Go through the call to action. Bye-bye.